Nissan's only sold 2,034 Zs. Actually, that's kind of funny because isn't it called the Z34? It's, isn't it R, R, they, they, they put an R somewhere, no, Z, right, guys? Z34 is the 370Z, I think. No, it was... I think that's the, the 370Z. RZ34, is that what it's called, chat? I think it was, no? RZ34, RZ34 yeah. See? Isn't that funny then? That yeah, were... I don't know why would they put an R chassis name onto the front of it. I mean, that's just even more it's adding just to injury. Anyway. So one of the most highly anticipated sports cars Sports the car launches of recent times was the all-new Nissan Z. I hate that name. Um, the latest Z car was the first newest model in the range for some time with the previous 370Z, making its debut all the way back in 2008, succeeding the 350Z. There have been a lot of praise um, heaped onto the new Nissan Z. However, sales for the sports car are much lower than anticipated. Nissan has only sold... 2,100 examples of the new Z. Despite all the rave reviews and positive press it had, evidence of the poor sales are in Nissan's 2023 fourth quarter and 2023 calendar year sales for America. And they state that only 2,034 examples of the Nissan Z have sold. I think it's very obvious why that happened. Um, when they first announced the car, everyone was hyped because the car was gonna be like a $50,000 car. Then dealers got it and it became a $100,000 car, which made absolutely no sense. And that killed the Z. That's what killed the Z, in my opinion. But I, I'm curious to know what you guys think in chat because like I was hyped to get a Z. Everyone was placing pre-orders for the Z and we were all like, let's freaking go. We place a pre-order and they would, the dealers and stuff would be like, yo, yeah, it's, a, it's you know, predicted or not predicted or projected to be like a $56,000 car. And you're like, that's not too bad. You know, twin turbo V6, not a bad deal, right? Mm. And then they'd call you when it got closer to cars being delivered and stuff and go, oh, actually the price is gonna be a hundred and something thousand dollars. Like what the hell? Yeah. And like, I think the cheapest cars some of my friends got them for was $80,000. And that was because they had a friend and everything. Wait, but this is in the States, right? It this was even more, it was worse, worse in Japan. Japan. Yeah. Before you even placed an order, you had to go through a, a ruffle. Yeah, they wouldn't even like let you pre-order the car without being in a raffle. It was so stupid. It was just like the most frustrating thing ever. So if anyone's to blame about poor sales and why this car isn't doing well, it's because Nissan has no control over their dealerships, putting insane markups on it, and they didn't police it at all. Like, so of course no one's stupid. gonna buy that. The Supra was cheaper. Like, that makes no sense. And then even then though, the Supra got lower sales. But still, like, it just didn't make any sense whatsoever. So I'm not surprised that happened. And it'll be interesting to see if um, Nissan somehow is able to get the, or Nissan is able to get the cars to the customer at a cheaper price now, because that'll save the Z if they just actually honor what the price was supposed to be. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. I was pretty mad about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too high. And then I think, okay, putting the, the, the money aside, have you heard um, from people about like the drivability of that car? No. Uh, well, everyone says it's not too bad. Really? Yeah. I've heard the opposite. Really? That yeah. loud? Yeah. I mean, it depends. Like from what I've seen, like there hasn't really been any mechanical issues, but like tuning on the car. Mm. He was talking to Hawkins and stuff. Like they've been able to unlock it pretty, pretty easy. Oh, really? And like the car makes really good power. It's easy to tune, all that type of stuff. Um, so it's pretty, um, it's a pretty good like starting point mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think suspension wise and all that type of stuff, a lot of people were saying is very similar to the Z, like the 370Z. So there's a lot of aftermarket support already for it. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, yeah, not too bad. Have they fixed where the, Handbrake is? Handbrake. No. no, no, that was my biggest issue. They they make the handbrake for the left-hand drive series car and they don't move it for the right-hand drive car. Why the heck would they have it on, well, this is in Japan. They would have it over on the, sh on, on like the left yeah. side. It's for so- For short people like me, that's like a meter away. Uh, not just that, like trying to drift it, like when I grabbed it in the stock Z before we did the hydro stuff and I went to lift it, I literally like tore a tendon in my arm because you've got to go like this and then you got to pull to get leverage. Yeah. So it actually like 
hurts your shoulder and tendons. That's probably why my shoulder's so messed up now. I blame the Z. I blame this. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, it's terrible. The Sylvia's are on, on this side. Yeah, well, in the 240SX, it was either side. The interior, like, changed, depending on whether it was left-hand or right-hand drive. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess, like, it's a cheaper thing, but... If they just produce the bodies with just, they just bolt need to holes flip on either the mold. side, yeah, they and just the plastic need to flip mold, the yeah. Mold. yeah, that's it. Use your brain. But do that for like thousands of cars. That's a big saving. It is. And if you want to drift the car, the stock e-brake kind of sucks. So you know. Well, then they're not thinking about hydro us. for the win. Yeah. It does suck for right-hand drivers, but for left-hand drivers, it's fine. Yeah. There's a lot of people asking about the announcement. The announcement is this. The new Sam show, guys. <laughs> if you missed it, go to the start. You can rewind on YouTube all the way back to the start about the announcement. Yeah, this every week. This is the week. new show. Every, every week, week, same on time. On, on the YouTube Friday channel night, and Twitch. Friday night for all the, the US people. Friday night, 8 p.m. EST, and Saturday morning, 10 a.m. JST, or 11 a.m. AST. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it, it, yeah the, the new Z is a reskin 370Z. Yeah, exactly, but it has Better engine, a three liter twin turbo, which is pretty cool. Mm. I, I will say the, the, the VR30 engine is very, very exciting. You can make a lot of power out of them. Mm. So it'll be cool to see where that goes, but the biggest issue right now is the cost of the car is just way too much. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. As, especially considering Nis, Nissan was saying, oh, it's only like a $50,000 car. And the dealers were like, no, it's a $120,000 car. It just kept going up and up and up. <sighs> so yeah. until we see that level out, it'll be, it'll be good. But um, the fact was, is they came out factory manual from the get-go. Supras didn't, so that was a big selling point. Yeah. And, every, and it was supposed to be a Supra killer, but the dealers ruined it by their yeah. high markups. Then, should we talk about Supras? Yeah, I think we'll move on to the next one. Uh, you want to cover this one? Okay. Toyota Supra sales down 46% despite manual gearbox arrival. <laughs> 46! So, this is what's frustrating because... Um, uh, was it Tamada-san uh, from Nissan? Nissan Tamada. Right? Yeah, everyone was giving him a lot of crap because the, the 35 GDR still doesn't come out with a manual transmission. And he kept saying that no one wants a manual transmission in sports car anymore. <laughs> and he said that the sales numbers proved it. Right Now, I didn't really believe that. And then this comes out and I'm kind of just like, ah, maybe we are a rare breed. Maybe those that can drive stick are a rare breed after all. Because the sales were expected to go up with the manual transmissions because they were also selling, what, the smaller, cheaper engine package, right, for people mm. to do yeah, yeah, engine yeah. swaps in. Mm. And it would come with a manual trans and it was a small four cylinder, right? Yeah. But uh, it didn't actually, um, sales didn't go up. They, didn't they go went up. down. Now, putting all of the car stuff aside, could it just be because of the time that we're in with the whole economy issues and all that stuff? Oh, the, no one wants to spend money right now. Let's yeah. be honest. Guys in chat, like, are you, are you wary about making a big purchase right now? Especially something that is um, the moment you drive it off the lot, it <laughs> devalues. Like, I just feel like right now, no one really wants to spell money. Uh, sorry, spell money, spend money. Right? No one really wants to spend money right now. Everyone's kind of a little up in the air. The car market itself is yeah. a disaster right now. I think Japan's pretty well controlled, but I feel mm. the people in the States, it's probably bad. And people in Australia, I've heard, you know, for, for you to get a meal at McDonald's about what, 20 bucks now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yep. Five, um, 20, what, what, is, what did I say in Australia? $20 is the new five bucks. It's crazy. Like, like in Australia, I went there uh, recently, right, for LZ World Tour. <laughs> I love this. I love this comment. I feel this. I'm buying 50% off meat. <laughs> <laughs> like, like right now, inflation is like the worst I've ever seen it. This, what blows my mind is like I'm now saying these things that my parents used to say about when they grew up and how they went through the Great Depression and all. You know what I mean? Like all these things that just didn't like I could never comprehend and now we've gone through COVID like could you imagine telling our kids telling you go in like 15 years like I remember back in my day when we went through COVID three years of nothing nothing oh well, well, at least in Japan maybe. Oh, yeah at least in Japan <laughs> I mean Florida Florida nothing changed in Florida let's be honest <laughs> actually being stuck in Florida was amazing some of the things I saw yeah anyways but like you know what I mean like we have not seen this stuff happen in our entire lifetime Mm. But we're now like we've, we've experienced it and I don't know if we'll ever see it again for a very long time until the next generation sees it Yeah, or, or if some other new COVID happens, you know guys don't eat snakes yeah. But like 
or bats. Bats it's, and it's, snakes, it's, don't do that. Is it snakes too? Uh, no, I'm Anyways, just saying the next one we... might be snakes. That's what I'm saying. Just don't eat weird things. <laughs> I'm a snake. Um, ADD. ADHD rant. Rant. Where did we go? How did we get to that? Toyota. Oh, car sales. <laughs> we, we, car sales, guys. So I think car sales, like, I think there's a, I don't think you can blame it and say no one wants a manual car. And I don't think yeah. we can blame it on, you know, prices being too expensive by dealerships. Like, yes, that is a big issue. But I think the main issue is probably just the fact that inflation is at a record all time high. Interest rates are crazy high. People's job stabilities are all over the place right now. So many people are losing jobs to AI as well. Um, the AI issues right now, just in general, like are insane. Yeah. And all of that's like affecting everything. And then on top of that, what, interest rates? Like people can't even pay their home loans anymore like because their variable interest rates went up so high. Yeah. Um, very fortunate in Japan that they just don't even raise interest rates. No. Interest rates like for a first time homeowner is like what, 0.04% or something crazy low? Plus you get like 20, 30% back from the government. Which is mind blowing. You pretty much get a free, like you, you get free money from the bank you pay it off, your mortgage off, with no interest pretty much at the end. So of it. it makes more sense in Japan to actually invest into buying yep. a house because yep. you're getting something, it's your own thing, you know? It's not yep. like a rented house. Yeah. So yeah. in Japan, it makes a lot of sense to, you know, for your first house and stuff like that to, to go down that route. It's essentially free money. Um, and even with investment properties, I think the lowest interest rates are like 3%, like when you're not using it for your family and yourself. So there's a lot of really good invest, uh, sorry, opportunities in Japan for purchasing your own house and it's quite easy and, and very um, affordable. Mm. Um, and yes, the yen is at an all time low, but that always, and th that's been done purposely by the government here. They say it's like to open tourism, get more people spending money, coming to Japan, and then eventually the yen will recover and it'll probably be back to what it was before. Yeah, but, but it's, yeah, anyways, hmm. let's not- Another tangent. <laughs> Let's just call this the tangent show. So yeah, super sales are down 46%, which is hilarious. But also I think it's just because of the times that we're in, right?